Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make a basket using the plant or the plastic, the grocery bag plastic. This is a pretty big basket, um, but for today's tutorial, I'll just make a smaller version of it. Okay. So for this, what we need is we need plastic yarn that I have shown you how to prepare this in my previous video. So I'm going to start with this kind of a ball of a yarn, right? Um, you can use a couple of other um, crochet hooks, but for today, I'm going to use J10 600 mm. This is the one I'm going to use for making this basket. I'm going to use single crochet, very simple, right? Um, this is the first basic stitch that uh, any beginner can start doing crocheting with. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, make a, like take this, right? You can make a first knot like this, okay? And put your hook in here and tighten it. Okay, I'm going to start with single crochet, a chain of eight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight okay now I'm gonna make it a round so I'm gonna connect the last step with the first one so that it becomes a circle So this is the starting circle. Okay, I'll keep continuing this. So I'll meet you at the end of this round. Okay, so the first round is done, right? Eight chains, I have brought it back. Now I'm gonna take the second round and make two single crochet in each one of them. So that will result into 16 stitches, 16 single crochet. Before starting the second round, I'm gonna do one chain, which is always the case in every round. You have to make one extra chain, okay? That helps in bringing back the circle at the starting position. So here, I'm gonna start with each, each single crochet that I have done in the previous, right? First chain. I'm going to take two times, okay? So I'm going to make two single crochet from each chain I had in the first round. So one, I'm going to do again from the same, from the same hole, I have to make it again. Okay, so out of one, I have made two single crochet. Similarly in the next I'm gonna take and make two single crochet from each hole. Yeah, the plastic yarn is not as um, easy to work with as your wool, but once you get used to it, you will just cruise through it. First round is always difficult. So I am at the end of the second round, as you can see, this was the starting point. Right, I finished my second round right here. So if you wanna 
count it, you will see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So uh, we have made 16 right here. Okay. Now to continue with the third round, I'm going to make one extra chain here. Okay. And then continue to make first one only one crochet then I will make two crochet in the second one then one crochet then two in the second one like that so the 16 will turn into 24 okay first one single crochet then two then single then two then single then two okay before I start my third round I'm gonna just make one single crochet leave it like that and then start from here first one is just a single crochet as I said okay in the second one I'm gonna do two times so one and then two okay then next one again one and the next one after that two So I'm going to continue like this and meet you at the end of the cycle. Okay, so I'm at the last step in the third round. So I will finish with two in this, right? Because just before that I had one. So the last step I want to show you, I did two in each hole. Okay, so this finishes the cycle. If you see, this is the starting point, right? So I'm finishing right here. Now I'm going to make again, starting off the fourth round, but I'm going to make a single chain before I start the fourth round. This helps in bringing it back. Okay, so now what I'm going to do in the fourth round is in each one of them, by the way, you can actually count this if you have a doubt, right? You can count this should right now be 24 of them, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay. So this 24th um, one, right? Now in each one of them, I'm going to do 2, 2, 2. Okay. So 2 in each. So this will finish up into 32. Okay. Which means the one that was single before, I'm going to make 2 out of that okay and the two because the earlier one was already two so i'm just gonna do one in each so in the end 24 will only end up into 32 okay hope it's clear okay so the first one i'm gonna make two one two okay now in the next one, if you see, right, I will take one in each, which means the two will remain as two from before. One, simple. Another one, one. Okay. So in the end, so far, I got two in the first one, then single, single, right? So from the starting point, right, if you count, the 24 will become 32 in this way. So I'll continue again. So two in the next one and then single, single. Okay. So two in each and then single, single. So next one is single. And after that, another one, single. Okay. So I'll finish like that and meet you at the end. Okay, I'm at the end of the fourth round. Okay, so what I did here, 24 as it has now become 32 as I explained. I can count here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
Okay, so now this was 32. Now in the fifth round, what we are going to do is again start with one chain. Okay, after that, in each one of them, okay, in the first one, I will make out of two, now I will make three. Okay, and then after that, single, single. So basically, I'm increasing by one in each round. Okay, so in what I had in the previous round, right, I had four, if you remember, because from first one I had two and then single single. So I had four in the first starting point, right? Those four are going to end up into five now. So what I'm going to do is then the first one I will make three and then single single. Okay, then three, then single single, three single single. So that 32 will become 40. Okay, similarly in the next round I'm going to take those three will become four okay so I will make four and then single single four single single okay so then 40 will become 48 so basically 8 16 24 32 40 48 okay and I will keep on making like that till I reach to the size of the base that I want my basket to be for example if I want this much right as you can see I'm only at this point right now. I have to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more rounds to make this big a base. You don't have to make this big. If this is your starting project, you can finish. You can start with a small one. Uh, I would still say at least do 10 rounds. Okay. That will give a basic base structure and then we will start making basket out of that. Okay. So I'll meet you after I'm done and convert these 32 into 40 stitches, okay? And then I'll see you at the end. Uh, how this count works. So for round one, if you remember, we started with a chain of eight, okay? So I have marked here eight. Now how to increase it in the second round is that from first count, you have to make two, okay? So two in each count will result into 16. Okay, in the third round, from the first one, you have to make two, okay, and then the single will remain single. So, in a, in a fact, the first point that we have, or the first chain, will result into three now. So, three in each, which means three times eight is 24. That's how it will increase. So, basically, one to change to two, that one itself changed to two, and one is one here. Similarly, for the fourth round, the first stitch will become two, so two single crochet here. This single will remain single, this single will remain single. Okay, so the basic first stitch now change into four here. Four times eight will be 32. And that's how I was saying that the first stitch will always increase in number one. Okay, so one first one will always increase by one more and rest of them will remain as is okay so the count will change from one to two to three to four to five for that first chain itself and similarly you repeat the same thing with eight so this will become five times eight forty and you can keep on increasing like this the first stitch into two okay first stitch of this two, first stitch of this two, first stitch of this two, right, wherever it reaches to that point. So what you have to keep in mind is that this is how you will keep increasing this, right, for each new line that you will start or a circle that you will start, the count should land up into these numbers. This will help in making the perfect circle, okay, so 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, uh, 48 like that okay hope this explains and uh, this will help you and you can refer back to it whenever you are making your own crochet okay. I have decided to only make eight rows here for the base okay now I want to start making the sides of the basket the easiest way to do that here is because it's plan and it's hard to work with 
what we have to do is we have to start reducing the count okay so we'll reduce eight out of the whole circle here right so every few um, chain stitches I will reduce the number okay one at a time that way it will start curling up so in this case because on the eighth I have 64 right so I have a 64 single crochet that I have done I will reduce it back to 56 and it will curl up okay and this way it will start going up like this okay there are other methods also but for this particular project I'm gonna use that method so after every eight stitches I am gonna skip one okay and then it will end up into 56 so here we are I have not finished this first round yet but as you can see that it has started curling up very nicely so this is my starting point right to avoid any confusion I marked it with the safety pin here that way I can see where my uh, row is ending or finishing I should have done that earlier um, but as you can see I have reduced just by eight counts and it has started curling up okay so I will finish here and you will see how the first row has already shaped the basket it is not gonna be very uniform because it's not a yarn right and as you can see the width of the plastic bag there are knots that will result into a little bit unevenness but that is acceptable so here I'm doing the last eight stitches and I have reached to that point right so I'm gonna skip one and do in the next one so I'm gonna skip this particular one and go in the next one okay so this has finished the first row for the wall or the side you can say of the basket so I'm going to continue now without reducing. I am going to do this 56 single crochet. I don't want to reduce it any further and I'll continue with 56 and I'll see you after I'm done with another row. So I have created three rows so far. So this is how the basket is shaping up. Um, while I was doing this, I just finished the yarn that I had so I wanted to take this opportunity to show you how to attach while you are working on it if you are in the middle of it and it finishes like that you can always take more of your plastic cuttings that you have kept as per my other video you can just take the plastic cutting and you can attach it right here okay if you wish you can attach again make a bow uh, yarn ball before proceeding or you can attach as you go along so I'm just gonna show you how I'm attaching right so you just put it inside like this cutting and we will take it out and you pull it okay so this will attach and make it secure this is the knot okay and then I will continue making it um, so if you remember I made eight rows here as the base and then so far I have done three rows for the sides so this is how it is shaping up okay so I'll see you once I have uh, made at least three or four more lines and then you will see how much more would you like to make more you can continue or if you want to stop right there you can do that also 
Okay. So I have completed now uh, this basket. I have made this, uh, you know, seven, eight layers of, or the rows for the side. Okay, so this is a decent size. If you turn it around now, you will see that it has a better shape. Okay, so here it is, right? As you can see, right? The design is much more visible here. The rows are looking nice. And this was the inside portion I showed you with the safety pin. That was my starting point. So I finished right there. So we can just close uh, the stitch right here or for this basket I'm thinking to put a final line with white as a rim so as a white rim so for that what I'm gonna do is I have cut white plastic bags okay and I'm gonna attach this white here so that I can continue doing the last line the last row with white color you know as a finishing line so simply where my this plastic bag is ending right I'm gonna attach this one white one okay here I can do all at one time or I can do as I go along So I will keep doing this way and keep continuing making the single crochet all along the last row. So here I am, right, I am just going to continue doing the white. So you can see how white has started coming here. Some bags are easy to work with and some are little hard. Um, this white one is comparatively very thin and easy. So as you can see, you will get the idea how the last is showing up here right so I'm gonna do this finishing line all along and meet you at the end so this is how it looks like with the white rim on the last row right as you can see it's uh, pretty neat as a finishing touch and I'll be just closing this round okay Three more are left. I will finish these three. And for the last one, I'll just take this all the way. So the last one, I'm going back to the first one and I'm gonna, instead of making it, I'm gonna take this, make it from the two, I'll just make it one. Okay, and this will uh, pull the whole string and this will be my last step. And this locks the last. Okay. Now instead of cutting, I'm going to just pass it through a little bit uh, from here, uh, through one to maybe three or four, so that it remains inside and I should not cut it right where I have locked it. Okay. Okay. 
at it like this much extra and just try to take it out of each one of them yeah, you have to modify some rules um, just because it's a plastic bag right with yarn it's much easier to do all these things but you know as you go along you will you will feel your plastic yarn and you will know what will work for you and sometimes you have to modify to accommodate the plastic bag okay so this is all done okay okay so this is one basket I didn't make any handle in this one I just wanted a different style as you can see in this one basket it is pretty big and I use it for keeping you know fruits um, right here I have made another one you can see right you can embellish you can make a handle pretty easy just single crochet here too you know you can embellish if you want uh, this is pretty good for fruits this is a small one I would use it for some knickknacks maybe my clips um, you know I can keep my clips here uh, pretty good right I can keep it on my dresser so there are various ways you can um, various ways you can use these kind of baskets uh, multi-purpose right rather than buying from outside I would say use the plastic bags make your own crochet baskets if possible and save the earth I have used multiple multiple plastic bags here from the grocery stores and I think uh, environmentally they are pretty good we are not putting them in trash maybe mother earth will thank me one day hope you like it let me know from comments if you want me to make any other kind of basket I will do so uh, till then enjoy deep crocheting thank you